I'm going to a place called Kanoa Quebrada. You guys wouldn't believe how much I pay for this. I and mean, it's like apartment at the bottom and apartment at the top. There you go. Guys, I am leaving for the laser now. I'm at the bus station, Cordovaria. Uh, I'm not sure how to say it. My Portuguese is getting better though. I'm going to a place called Canoa Quebrada. It's uh, south of here, about two and a half hours bus ride. I'm here in Nordeste, to Brazil, the northeast of Brazil, and I'm just gonna keep going south until I possibly hit Salvador, then I'll fly down to Rio. I'm feeling good right now. It's cool, it's about 26 degrees. Let me go get on this bus. There's different levels to the buses. Now, this isn't the most comfortable bus I've been on. It's an older bus. You hear everything kind of rattling in here, but it's air conditioned. It's about a two hour, 45 minute ride. I don't have to wait in some long lineup at the airport, be at the airport two and a half hours early. I got here 10.30 bus leaves at 11 and uh, there's probably about eight people on the bus with me these buses aren't usually full at all I've never had to sit beside anybody the city I'm going to is called Aracachi it's about 15 minutes drive from where I'm going to end up I'm at La Fazenda condo I just checked in Careful with the taxis, guys. They're very expensive, man. It's only about 15 minute ride, and they charge me 40 AI. So they do uh, sticky teams. I was told that they do have Ubers here, but they operate very poorly. They have 24 hour security here. You guys wouldn't believe how much I pay for this a night. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. Look how cute it is, guys. It's like apartment at the bottom and apartment at the top. So two apartments for each unit. Got a nice pool in the center. Looks nice. And there's my apartment up here. So usually when I get to a new place, I end up staying in the hotel the first night, the first day, and I, and I kind of get up in the morning and explore, but I heard that it's pretty safe here. Right now it's uh, 3.40, sun's going to be setting in about an hour or two hours, so there's not a lot of time. Hola. I'm going to see if I can uh, figure out a path to get down to the beach and uh, find a restaurant. I don't know how late things are open here, so that's why I don't want to take a risk. There's been times that I've gotten to places, relax, 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 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, I decide to eat, and there's nowhere to eat, <laughs> nowhere to order, and this is a small town. You can see the ocean just down there. There's a lot of construction going on over here. I feel like this is going to be like uh, Jerry, a small quaint beach town for uh, people to come on vacation. Coming to Brazil, you just kind of know places in Rio. But these places are kind of amazing. It's just they're so far out. And the accommodations here, they look nice. Maybe that's why it reminds me of Jerry. 
Maybe this is a good place to invest. And this is the main street right before the beach. Oh yeah, this restaurant is huge. Chega mais beach. Water looks a little bit rough. Of course, I got to dip my feet because you know every new place I go to. But if I don't go swimming, I'm gonna touch the water with my feet. So, wow. You know what? I gotta take a couple of pictures. All right, time to touch the water. They got these little huts up here. I guess they're like local places that you can go and eat. These are fishing villages. That's why you see all these boats here. They go out in the morning and they catch their fish. And you can come down here and purchase lobsters is what they're really famous for in, in this region. Would you guys try this? I don't know. I don't know how it all works. I wonder if you just like get a quick five minute lesson and you're out there or if this is something you gotta study, like, like surfing. Look at this guy is in the water. His, his parachute is in the water. I don't know if he's gonna be able to get out of that or get back up in the air. It's interesting, man. It looks pretty crazy. Whoa. Oh, look at that. What? This guy must have just crashed. Here comes another one. So I remember seeing a video, I think it was in Rio, in uh, Baja de Tijuca, where a storm came in and a guy was out there in the wind with his kite and he got taken up, man. Like he came off out of the water, out the beach and he was gone. Like he went over the buildings. I don't know where he landed, if he was safe when he landed, but that is scary. I got to learn a couple of things here. Like how to say the word lobster. Where is the best place to buy lobster here? Compra lagosta, lagosta aquí. Lagosta is lobster. Camaraos y lagosta. Onde é o melhor lugar para comprar lagosta aquí? Lagosta. I've seen this in pictures. I'm in Kanoa. It's about 4.30. Everything is uh, shutting down now. I need to find something to eat. Maybe a bar or something that's still open late. The place is beautiful. The beach is just over here. Airbnb is about 20 minutes that way. All these cute little dune buggies and stuff. Let's see if there's anything open. Catch you guys later. Wish you were here. Peace. Many, many, many posadas all over. And they all look good. They all look decent. Hola. Um, você, você sabe um uh, lugares uh, para mais tarde? Um, um restaurante? Lá para onde? Lá para onde? Aqui, aqui, aqui sobe, pode subir reto. Uh, ok. Sem se aqui, sem aqui, reto. Longe? Uh, longe? Longe? Não, não, acho que uns 200, 500 metros ou menos. Acho que é isso. Ok. Não. I'm already pretty far. I hope I can get an Uber back. Some more posadas. I know you guys can't really see it, 
but this street is very steep. Look at this. You lived here and you had to walk, you'd be in shape. Oh my lord. I'm dying. Oh, this is a nice surprise. Broadway, this is what they were saying. This is where I can come and there's some kind of nightlife. Yeah, there's things to do here at night, it looks like. Here's a sports bar here, people watching the game. I was actually originally supposed to stay down in this area when I was looking for pasados. The reason I didn't is because the place that I was supposed to stay, it didn't have hot water. I thought it was very strange. It's not even an option to put that in your request for amenities. You just kind of assume that you have hot water. Sun coming down. So that's my burger, guys. I'm gonna eat now, head back to my posada. Everywhere in the world we go. It's gonna be some Jamaican influence somewhere. Just walking back from my uh, from Broadway. I just ate something. Walking down this lonely street. There's some music playing over there. All right, I'm out. I was woken up last night by some loud reggae music playing next door. It was coming from Kanoa Roots Hostel. So I went to take a look if there was like a bar in there or there was some kind of party going on because the music was pretty loud. I went out to the street and looked over the gate and somebody saw me and invited me in. They're like, come in, come in, come in. There was about maybe 10, 12 people in there. We did the introductions. There was a few of them that spoke English one from France, one from Argentina, different people from different places. They were playing music, dancing, drinking, smoking. There was a DJ there. They had caipirinhas, cervezas, beer. I sat down, I had a few conversations, a drink and chilled for a while. I pretty much went to this place every day. Every time I left my Airbnb, I'd walk by this place. So I would pop in and say hi. They gave me valuable information about the area, where to go to party, the different things happening there. It felt great to meet some new friends. What's up guys? I'm gonna head down to the beach. Still early, 7.24. I got up uh, about six. I flew my drone for a bit just to kind of get some early shots before the sun got harsh. I'm a little bit sick and it sucks. It's a beautiful morning. It's gonna be a nice day today. Kind of more on one end of the town. I'm not in the center. Last night I tried to get an Uber. I waited for about 20 minutes. I tried to get an Uber, I tried to get a motor taxi, and it tells you that it's limited and they're trying to find you a ride, but it just kept delaying, 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 and then I canceled it. So then I hit up the Airbnb host and I said, uh, is it safe to walk from Broadway, which is the little town area where I was eating, to the um, Airbnb? And she said, yeah, no, it's no problem. It's, it's, it's very safe here. She's never heard of any incidents. And I walked back and I felt fine. So I'm here and I see a fisherman out there. And I'm gonna look for things to take pictures of. All right, these guys are launching their uh, fishing boat, getting underway. These guys are working hard. Que horas vocês voltar? Papa. 
Okay. Yeah. They're going to return about 11 or 12. My sports is uh, Cotillard. Yeah. Okay. 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 The ghost uh, just come out. Okay, okay. Okay, what else was this? Uh, okay. Sit down. Freedom Bar. Oh, I heard about this place. Anywhere you go in this world, there's always going to be an influence from Jamaica. Always. I was talking to this gentleman over here. He was underneath one of these uh, bars here. And I couldn't understand anything he was saying. None of the words. And I'm like, pulled out my phone and tried to use a translator, but it said I can't use that feature when I'm offline. With the translator, like I downloaded a version that I could use offline, but you have to write. You can't use your voice. Proceeded to show me that it was weed he was trying to sell. So <laughs> I don't want any weed here. Something you might run across. He was naming all these names, I guess the different types of things they call marijuana here, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not a smoker like that. This looks like the boat that I saw this morning that went out. Yeah, as you can see, the prices are a little expensive. But it's seafood, right? They don't have executive meals here where they, it's only for one person, or at least not anything that I wanted to eat. So I just ordered fish. The lobster, if I don't see it coming out of the ocean, I don't really want it. This is what you get for 139 hay ice. Fish, it's a pretty good size. Rice, and you know what that is. I don't really, I'm not into that. Some salad with that as well. Just finished eating. Couldn't even finish the whole thing. It's a lot of food. I'm basically uh, sleepwalking back to my apartment. Um, yeah, I just went over to the uh, reggae uh, place that I went to yesterday. Real nice people. Kind of hippie-ish, but uh, real cool. There's nothing down there. Yeah. Yeah, we were sitting down there. Oh, this is it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So it's not really like a club club. No, it's like a dancing club. But I think it's an early, so it's not So it's so much more to Brazil than... Oh, so... Yeah. But like, all the clubs... <laughs> okay, wait, wait, I'm gonna ask you some questions. How what? Interview. What is the question? My name is Diana. And you're from? I'm from Argentina. From Argentina. What are you doing here in uh, Canoa? Um, I'm from holidays or some kind of, but travel, um, so no 
in the places? I've been for almost four months, more or less. But not here in Canoa Quebrada. Four months, totally in Brazil. What do you do for work? So I'm working and traveling at the same time. Online work or do you work when you get to a place you find a job? Digital nomad. You can work and travel as same as me. Ah, exactly. Well, we're good. I think after COVID, and this is a dream for a lot of people. I feel fortunate that I'm able to do this. I'm sure you feel the same. We are very lucky to be here. I agree. I agree. So where are you going to next? My next destiny is in Buenos Aires, but only to stay there one month. And after that, I go to Colombia. How long? I don't know yet. You don't know yet? I'm a little bit scared of Colombia though. The stories I hear about people getting robbed, killed. If you go to some hostel and if you never, you, you never be alone, I feel very safe there. Hi. What's your name? Suzanne. Where are you from? From France. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Ça va très bien et toi? I'm backpacking. I arrived in Latin America to learn Spanish, but I arrived in Brazil. I, I arrived uh, hitchhiking from France on sailing boat. You know what? I think only Europeans do this kind of thing. Before, earlier you told me that you know you guys go to the beach at night and things like that. I'm I'm always worried about safety. Yeah, I mean I wouldn't do it like in a capital of state, right? But here in Canoa Quebrada, it sounds really really safe. And yeah, it's becoming very trendy to cross at which hike the ocean. How long are you here for? I guess until September. I arrived like two months and a half ago. What do you do for a living? I'm a marine biologist. I graduated last year. And since I had some free time, I worked in France, like alimentary jobs just to make some money during six months. It's the first time I'm doing that. Then during six months, I worked as a bartender and some other jobs like in France. And then I went on this big, big trip that I've been dreaming of for like years of like crossing the Atlantic and I arrived in Brazil and I wanted to learn Spanish so I wanted to go in a Spanish speaking country to learn Spanish but I arrived here and I loved it here so I just stayed. Congratulations man, I admire you so much. Where are you going to go after here? I guess either Pipa or Recife. I've been to Recife before. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Party that they have on Saturdays. Were you here last Saturday? No, I never came here at night. I want to go up there and see. You have many options there, and the other one is really similar. I take my chance.
I didn't understand why are these places on stilts. Now I get it. The beach is completely gone. So they told me about this place that they have like bonfires and music on the beach. You think the water is going to go down tonight? I've been hearing about this party ever since I arrived in Kanoa. Freedom Bar, Saturday night, it's on the beach, 
they have a bonfire out there, good music, good drinks. I visited this bar a few times during the week, but it was during the day. So it's time to check out what the beach is like at night in Kanoa. how the ocean was uh, it was right up to the wall. They assured me that it was gonna push back and it's been a few hours and the ocean is all the way down there now. I don't know if you can see it, but we're good now. Lots of space. Tell me now you feel something Yeah, you want it a million and you show it What you want is it really that important You have been on my mind and I really can't ignore it Little baby, you a 10 When I'm in it, I got you going, oh I can't even help it I don't think I want to Know that I've been on you Ooh, uh, uh, You also have something? I'm good, I'm good You good? No, 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 I didn't. For the bare minimum, we doing lavish. I was down bad, really acting like I had it. You seen right through it, knew I was catting up. You still let me in it till you cast out it, adding up. Lately, sh been adding up. What you want, I'm activated. Where you looking at me with the minds hella captivated? Know you had you a long day. I have to take my slippers off. As you can see, the uh, tide came back in. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you want to see more, please support my content. Subscribe, hit the like button, and it's just as important for you guys to leave a message on my page. I will respond. The adventure is over. Leaving the club now. It was fun. Time to go home. Peace. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My information is in the description. Peace and love.